Greetings, hi, welcome to Change Your Mind. I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board certified psychiatrist, spiritual psychotherapist, and mastery of life mentor. Okay, so negative labels are self-fulfilling prophecies. Okay, you gotta watch out for this. You gotta watch out for the little messages and labels you, you lay upon yourself, right? We have an inner voice, an inner critic that oftentimes tells us, uh, you know, you're stupid, you're not good enough, it's not worth trying, uh, people don't really like you, why bother? Uh, you know, it's just going to turn out bad. Uh, something bad's going to happen. It's going to be a waste of my energy. Uh, what's the use? Uh, all of these negative labels, uh, you're stupid, you're not good enough, you're thoughtless, you're unlovable. People can't love you, uh, you can't love. Uh, you're damaged goods, you got too much baggage. All this crap, all this stuff. These labels you vomit on yourself. You know, you got to stop it. You've got to stop these labels. You've got, you've got to tell that voice to shut up and go away and haunt somebody else. Because these labels become self-fulfilling prophecies. They become who you are. You know, what you think is what you get. What you think about yourself is what you get. Okay, so if you think negative, you're going to get negative. If you think positive, you're more likely to get positive. So uh, all these labels, all these put downs, they you know, you know they, they they go back to your childhood. They go back to subconscious uh, messages that you got uh, either intentionally or unintentionally from uh, most likely your parents and you know and and peers and teachers. Uh, we you know we get shamed when we're little, when at, even at a preconscious, preverbal uh, state. Uh, we, we get shamed. We feel guilty. We feel bad about ourselves. We feel we're not good enough. We feel we're not worthy. We feel we're sinners. We feel we deserve punishment and failure rather than success and reward. All of these unconscious uh, labels and self-definitions -def get imprinted into our psyche at a really early age. You know, and so when we become adults, when, you know, now we, are, we, we can become aware of them. Now we can become aware of them and change them and stop them and replace them. It's all operant conditioning. Instead of saying, you know, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, you turn it around, you go, stop. No, I am worthy. I am good enough. I am deserving of happiness and success. I am deserving of abundance. There's a plenty of abundance in the universe for everyone and I'm entitled to a piece of it. And even though I may make mistakes and I may, may make bad choices at times and I may be inconsiderate and at times I may be unloving, I am a loving person. I am a giving person. I am a, a, a worthy person. I deserve happiness and success, uh, not failure and punishment. Okay, so you need to catch yourself, be vigilant over your thoughts, catch yourself when you're calling yourself names, you know, and, uh, and stop it and then replace the negative with a positive. And the more you do this, the more you get into the habit of shutting off that inner critic, replacing it with your inner colleague, somebody who likes you and cares about you and wants you to be happy and successful. The more you do this, you will see positive results in your life, better outcomes, uh, more people wanting to cooperate with you. You will be happier. You will be more content. You will be more at peace. All right. That's it for today. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.